How do we go about making a project for PTE AV Studio 11, which is designed to open and run when the software is first installed? Firstly, we need to consider the project's purpose. It's part demonstration of just some of the presentation effects possible with the software, but it also allows the project to be studied as it runs via the slide list, the timeline, or the objects and animation screen. I began by making a list of features that would need to be demonstrated and I wrote a short script for each of them, just a sentence or two. I record a rough commentary to start with because the project will change and evolve as it's being created. The voice recordings will be recorded individually, a sentence or two at a time. We need that flexibility to place each of the sound comments where it needs to be on the timeline. The final recordings will be made much later, and I'll do those in one sitting because we need the same conditions for all of them. It's surprising how the voice can change from day to day or even morning to evening. I locate the images for the project one at a time as and when I need them. I don't begin by copying a batch of content into a project folder. While I accept that this is considered good practice, my method works better for me because I have my whole image catalogue on my computer as my project folder. However, I will copy the image or the video that I want to use to my project folder once I've chosen it. For viewer consistency, I size my landscape images to 16:9 aspect ratio, 2560 pixels on the long side, 1440 on the height. In a 1920 by 1080 HD project, that size allows for some animation. I kept all of the portrait format images to 3:2 aspect ratio. 2,560 pixels on the long side. And I gave all of the images logical names rather than remaining with the usual random numbers. I felt it would be easier for the viewer to follow what's going on in the slide list, the timeline, or the objects and animation screen. Now it's not essential, of course, to resize or rename images when we're making a presentation, but for this project, it's just a little bit different. So I start with the first of those rough voice recordings, and I'll create the visual presentation to accompany that commentary. Now, obviously, what I create visually has to match my commentary, and this is one of those times when small script changes may be needed. I have often found the need to insert short pauses within a sentence. After completing the first section or two, I take a break from my computer. Sometimes that will be overnight, but even an hour away from the computer is often enough. We need that break to clear our head. I then view the first couple of sections that I have created a number of times and I make notes of any changes I think are required. There will be changes, without a doubt. It's around this stage that you start to notice that one image may be facing the wrong way for pictorial effect. Perhaps the animation is a little too short, a little too long. You often miss all of these things when you're in full creative flow. Hence the need for a break. When I do return to my computer to pick up where I left off, I immediately save my project name and I add a consecutive number. Keeping previous versions up my sleeve just in case I take the wrong route or change my mind. I don't move on to the next section until I'm happy with the first one or two. The whole process takes as long as it takes. 
I'll watch the growing project again and again until I run out of things to tweak. Finally, of course, we will reach the end of our project. That's when I pick a quiet evening to record the final commentary. Each take is recorded separately, and once that's done, they can replace the rough commentary that I've been using up to now. This will cause a little adjustment to image timings and keyframes, but nothing drastic. I then watch the entire finished project again every day, and it's surprising how many times we still see potential for change, but usually it's minimal change at this point and quite easy to do. When you see that my project has so many different saved versions, you could be forgiven for thinking that this is a complex, time-consuming and maybe even a little tedious process. Well, it isn't tedious at all. In fact, it's a creative and interesting project and it soon absorbs us. Just take things a little bit at a time, save your project regularly and you'll enjoy the process as much as the final project.